Hey, my name is Connor, and welcome to Crypto Empire, where we dominate the crypto market. This video will be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get the ZK Sync airdrop. I first made a ZK Sync airdrop tutorial video back in December of 2021, and now here we are 15 months later, and there still has been no airdrop announcement. So hopefully the snapshot has not yet been taken yet, and we still do have time. So if you have not taken any steps towards getting the ZK Sync airdrop, which is going to be one of the biggest airdrops of this year, then this is the perfect video for you. So be sure to stick with me until the very end. Without further ado, let's get right into it and let the gains be with you. So here on the screen is my first ZK Sync tutorial airdrop video. And I made this one back in December of 2021, December 9th. After I got a ton of requests on how to get the ZK Sync airdrop, I made this video. And here we are 15 months later, like I said in the intro, and there is still no airdrop, still no snapshot announcement. So there is still possibly time to get yourself as many ZK Sync tokens as possible before they take the snapshot. So let's get right into it and talk about how to get the ZK Sync airdrop. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to, of course, create a ZK Sync account. In order to do that, you need a MetaMask wallet. If you don't have a MetaMask wallet, get one ASAP. It would really help if you already have some DeFi knowledge. If you are brand new, I recommend that you go watch my first ZK Sync airdrop tutorial video where I show you step by step how to do all the transactions and stuff like that. This video is gonna be more of a general overview where we're just gonna go through all of the steps that you need to do. So after you have your MetaMask wallet, you're gonna to come to this site. This is light.zksync.io slash account. I will leave the link down in the description below. And what you wanna do from here is you wanna bridge over assets from the Ethereum mainnet to the ZK Sync network. In order to do that, you hit top up right here on the screen in the home screen, you hit top up. And then from here on the bottom, you're, you're gonna to wanna to use the ZK Sync light bridge. All right, once you do this, you wanna bridge over at least 0.1 Ethereum minimum the more the better, all right? But at least 0.1 Ethereum, hit top up and bridge it over. Also not a bad idea to do a second transaction using the Orbiter bridge, all right? This is not necessary, but I use both bridges, both the Orbiter and the ZK Sync Light bridge. As you see from here, you'll just select ZK Sync, and you'll, you're gonna wanna go from the Ethereum mainnet to the ZK Sync network by doing this, all right? So get some money, get some Ethereum in your ZK Sync account and then you're ready to move on to step number two. Now for step number two, you're gonna to wanna to mint an NFT on the ZK Sync Network. And I'll show you how to do this really quick. So over here on the top of the screen, you're gonna click on NFTs. From here, you're gonna to wanna to hit mint in NFT. It's gonna take you to this screen. And now you're gonna need a 0x hash or a CID. Now in order to get this, you will need to upload any image that you have in your computer. It doesn't matter what the image is, but you will be making this image an NFT, so it would be better if you liked the picture in the first place. But once you have that file image, what you're gonna wanna do is come on over to this website. This is pinata.cloud. I will leave the link again down in the description below. And this is going to allow you to get that CID to make the NFT. So you're gonna make a free account, hit log in at the top, make a free account, completely free to do this. Now from here, you're gonna be in this screen after you log in. All you wanna do from here is on the right of the screen, let me make sure you guys can see that. On the right of the screen, you're gonna hit add files. All right, and you're gonna to wanna to select one file. All right, not a folder, hit one file, select a file. After you select a file, hit upload, and it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna process it and generate a CID. Now, after your file is successfully uploaded, just wait or refresh the page actually, refresh this page, and you should see your file here. And we can see I, I use this image here. It's a YouTube thumbnail, this one, top five ZK altcoins. So after you find your file, hit the copy for the CID, come on back to the ZK Sync wallet, and then paste that CID right into here. Now you're gonna wanna authorize to mint the NFT, so make sure you're on the Ethereum mainnet and not the ZK era testnet, which we'll be using in a second, but head to the Ethereum mainnet to do this, all right? And now you're gonna sign this message and you're gonna mint the NFT. And this costs 10 cents. It's a 10 cents fee to mint the NFT. So go ahead and do this. And if you wanna mint more than one NFT, it counts for more transactions. So it will 
probably help your chances of getting a higher number of tokens for the airdrop. Of course, no guarantees with that. All right, so perfect. The mint just completed. We'll hit OK here. And we will wait for that to finish. But basically, I now have two NFTs in this particular wallet. That's great. All right, so we've completed two steps so far. We've bridged over Ethereum to ZK Sync, and we have also minted an NFT. We have another transaction to complete here. You're going to want to go to the ZigZag Exchange. Again, I'll leave the link down in the description below. And you are, of course, going to need Ethereum now. You want to be on the ZK Sync Lite network and not on the Arbitrum network. Make sure you are logged in with your MetaMask wallet. And you're just going to make a few transactions here. It doesn't matter which pair you trade, what you do. Just make a few transactions. All right, so I'll sell some Ethereum with the market order, as you see here. Sell some ETH and then just buy it back, whatever. Just do some transactions. Now, there's one more thing we're going to do on the ZK Sync mainnet or the ethereum zk sync network here we're going to do a git coin donation to a grant proposal all right i've seen no confirmation that this is needed but i think this would greatly help your chances of getting an increased airdrop all right so we're going to be doing a donation to a grant i'll leave the link to this down in the description below but you will need to create a free gitcoin account you're going to log in with your metamask wallet and you're going to, of course, need some Ethereum in order to do this. Now, from this page, we see all of the live grants. And you're going to want to pick one that you like, that you want to donate some money to. I recommend donating at least $25 worth of DAI or Ethereum for this. So go ahead and pick a grant that you like. Let's do this one. Refi Spring. We're going to hit Add to Cart here. And once it's in our cart we'll get the option to check out with the one grant and like I said we want to use at least 25 bucks of ETH so right now $25 of Ethereum comes out to 0 0.01403 so we will select Ethereum and we will do 0 0.01404 and apply this to all and this is going to be $25, a $25 donation here. So let's go ahead and hit we're ready to check out. Now we want to make sure we check out with the ZK Sync checkout. All right, and hit proceed. It's going to take us to this page where we will complete the transaction. All right, use your MetaMask wallet again and just sign the transaction and complete the payment. And there you go sign that and all done perfect so i think this is going to greatly increase the chances of the airdrop i don't see a lot of people talking about this step but it's another transaction on the zk sync mainnet and you are donating it to a gitcoin grant and gitcoin is github which is you know the largest developer community for ethereum zk sync all the likes so this one should help should boost your chances of a bigger airdrop now we can move on towards the next steps. Now for the next step of this tutorial, we will be using the ZK Sync Era Testnet. So you do need to join the ZK Sync Discord. You need to be in that. You will need to connect your wallet because you're gonna wanna complete the Crew 3 tasks. But for now, we're gonna need to get some Testnet Ethereum. And we can see this message in their Discord that yesterday at 8.42 p.m., they are experiencing issues with the Testnet faucet to get Testnet Ethereum. So they are saying to go use a different faucet from this link. And we can see here the Gorelli faucet. This is the main Ethereum testnet, the, uh, the Ethereum Gorelli faucet here. So let's go to this site and we will verify that we are human. Now you do need an Alchemy account in order to get this testnet ETH. So let's go ahead and see if I did this less than 24 hours ago. It's telling me to use this Sephora faucet and see if this works. Okay, so I already did this 24 hours ago. So you're going to need to create an Alchemy account and you're gonna to wanna to use the Gorelli faucet and you're gonna get 0.1 testnet Ethereum. Go do that right now. Now, once you claim your Ethereum testnet, your Gorelli testnet Ethereum, head on over to gorelli.portal.zksync.io. Again, I will leave this link down in the description below. From here, you'll also see the faucet. And you can request funds from this faucet as well, but they barely give you anything. But regardless, once you have your Gorelli Ethereum, 
you want to make sure in your MetaMask wallet you're on the Gorelli test network. All right, as you can see, I have 0.4365 Gorelli ETH in here because I have used the faucet on previous days and it's just been sitting in here. But from here, what you want to do is hit the bridge option. And we will be bridging from the Ethereum Gorelli network to the ZK Sync era Gorelli network. All right, I'm going to bridge over 0.2 ETH and we're going to deposit that in and go ahead and hit deposit and just confirm the transaction right here. Very simple. Now this deposit will take five minutes to complete, but once it does go through, you are good to go and we are ready to start the next round of this airdrop farm. So what we want to do now is make sure we're on the ZK Sync era testnet. And this is where the Ethereum that you're sending will end up. It's going to end up here in the ZK Sync era testnet. If you have not added this to your MetaMask wallet yet, do not worry. Once you connect to any of these decentralized applications, it will prompt you to add the ZK Sync era testnet. Now it's very simple all we're going to do now. We're just going to be using different applications on the ZK Sync era testnet. This website here shows all of the live applications on the testnet that you can use right now. Again, I'll leave this link for you down in the description below. But I'm just going to show you some of them here. This is Nexon Finance on the testnet. And this is a lending and borrowing protocol, much like Aave, or if you guys remember back in the Luna Days Anchor Protocol, it's pretty much the same exact thing. So what you do is you supply Ethereum, then you borrow, and then you can, from the assets that you borrow, supply again, and you can just keep on looping your, your deposit, right? You just borrow from it, borrow against it, and then deposit more, etc. So very easy to do this. Now the first time that you use this application, there will be an option up here at the top of the screen to get testnet tokens. So you'll, you'll get testnet WBTC and USDC and DAI, and you're gonna use the tokens you get from the faucet here, supply them, borrow against them, supply more, just do transactions on this application. Another one is gonna be Mute. Mute also a decentralized exchange borrowing protocol. All right, so this is on the ZK Sync era testnet as we can see here. And what we want to do on mute is very simple. We just want to swap, probably just grab some mute tokens. So you see here, you can grab mute using some Ethereum. As you see here, you can get some mute tokens and go ahead and confirm this in your wallet and then just confirm it here. Once you do that first swap, you're going to want to pool. So come on over to pool, hit add liquidity, select Ethereum, select mute, and just pull the tokens that you just bought together, the mute and the ETH. All right, hit manage, and then do the max you can do, and then just hit add liquidity. I'm just gonna do this anyway, because why not? It's another transaction. All right, so that's another application. Another one you can use is the syncswap.xyz. These are all available here on this on this page, but I will leave all the applications that I use in this video. I'll leave the links in the description down below. So here on the sync swap, just connect your wallet, make sure you're on the ZK sync or test net and they have a faucet here and you're going to want to claim the tokens. As you see, I already claimed the test net faucet tokens. Now from here, you're just going to want to do basic swaps, swap back and forth between Ethereum and any asset that you want. Doesn't matter. Just do transactions and you can also provide liquidity in the pools here if there are available pools to do that with. All right, so just, you can go ahead and provide liquidity here. If this is your first time doing DeFi, go watch my tons of tutorial videos on how to supply liquidity into various DeFi protocols. I've showed you a numerous amount of times. So another one that we can use is called spacefi.io, another decentralized exchange, and it's the same exact thing. All right, all you do is you swap back and forth between Ethereum and different assets. You can also provide liquidity in the pools. You could, they also have a bridge here. Actually, no, it takes you to the portal here. So anyway, uh, they don't have a bridge on Space5, but just do some swapping transactions. It's very simple to do. Go through all of these applications and just do one or two transactions on each of them every week or every two weeks up until they announce the airdrop snapshot was taken. All right, another one we can use is called Taveria and Taveria is a game, a gaming ecosystem fu built fully on ZK Sync. Okay, and if you click on their link tree here, it will take you to this site and hit the Taveria testnet. And once you're on the Taveria testnet, hit play now and you will 
first mint two NFTs. I already did it, right? You mint these NFTs, it's free to do it. Those are all transactions. And then once you're on this page, after you go through all that, you bridge over some gaming vault tokens. All right, and then you'll hit the play game with the Teva Quest. And this game, it's it's a test net, so it is annoying to play, but it is also cool at the same exact time. It's like a samurai game where you throw the little ninja stars and you, you know, use your katana and stuff like that. Right, this is the character, and you use your keyboard, you use the up and down arrows, and then you use like two buttons to attack. Very simple game. Very easy. Game will be having an airdrop themselves. So the more applications that you use on the ZK Sync Error Testnet, the more transactions you get. And if all these different DeFi apps give their own token airdrop, you'll get those too. So that's all you need to do. All right. Follow the steps in this video and come to this site and just go through every single application and do one or two transactions on them. All right. ZK Casino, I've done a ton of transactions there and use the different bridges like Orbiter and of course the main ZK bridge. Just don't skip any steps. Do the Gitcoin donation thing. It's 25 bucks, but it should help out a lot. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you guys learned something, if you found it useful, I would really appreciate it if you smash that subscribe button down below. And of course, let me know that you liked it by leaving a like on this video as well. I greatly appreciate your support. So in this video, I showed you step by step how to get the ZK Sync airdrop when they go ahead and airdrop their token. Hopefully there's still some time to do all these steps. And remember, you wanna do these steps at least every single month. You wanna do these steps, all right? The more you do them, the better, but bare minimum every single month do these transactions. I made my first ZK Sync airdrop tutorial video 15 months ago. And we've had 15 months to do all of this stuff. So hopefully it's not too late, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Anyways, my name is Connor from Crypto Empire. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and have an amazing night.